Stetson L. writes, hey, Collider crew, awesome job on the show. John Campia frequently says that Russell Crowe is the second best working actor after Daniel Day-Lewis. I want to know who everyone else's pick, top picks are. Keep up the good work. Yeah, and you know what? Like, Daniel Day-Lewis, who I, I think... I mean, he's he's the man. Daniel Day-Lewis is the man. Every time he's going to appear in the movie, he just becomes, before anybody's seen a single frame, he's the odds-on favorite to win the Academy Award. But he is, there was a period of time when, for me, Russell Crowe supplanted him as the number one guy just because it's, who's the best working actor right now? And he, <laughs> sub, he goes years in between film. Get another year or two, I'm going to take Daniel Day-Lewis off that thing because I just won't qualify him as an acting, right. uh, working he's actor a cobbler. Again. Yeah, yeah. He's, a, he's a shoe cobbler. I mean, so let's just wait for him to come back. But those those have always been my top two, at least for a lot of years now. Those have been my top two. Mark, who would you put at the top of that heap? Of course, best working actor and the people I get most excited to go see in theaters. In addition to that list would be Denzel Washington yes. and Michael Keaton. I'm so happy both of them are back working in a lot of movies. Denzel never really went away, but Michael Keaton, we went years without seeing Michael Keaton. And oh, people man. were like, where is Michael Keaton? Is he retired? And now he's back in the spotlight. Oh, and, uh, oh. I, I could not be happy about it. I love watching that, dude. I love Michael Keaton, too. Yeah, and I'm, I, I'm really glad that the SAG Awards, they nominated that as the group, a group, because that really feels they like... They have an ensemble cast. Yeah, the yeah. ensemble cast, that feels like the best one so far for me. Uh, for, my, for my pick would be Gary Oldman, is one of yeah, my favorite actors. Great. Every role he picks, he always picks a different kind of character to play, and he's really great. Even if the movie's not as great, he is great in that movie. And... Uh, Let's see who else. Yeah, Michael Fassbender for me is like oh, yeah, the most current great. actor. Every single role he's picked over the last like five or six years, it's been completely different. He's challenged himself. Twelve Years a Slave, going to Prometheus, going to uh, Jobs. I mean, ever to now Macbeth. Macbeth. I mean, mm -hmm. Assassin's and, Creed. And he's great in all of them. And he's, I mean, so to me, he's, he's the top male actor right now. Speaking of Gary Oldman, did you ever see, I don't know which late night show, whether it was uh, Conan or one of the other guys, Gary Oldman did that little fake public service announcement, announcement commercial where he's on the basketball court. Have you seen this? No. Look this <clears throat> up. It's Gary oh. Oldman talking about, he's, he's an actor, right? And he's talking about athletes trying to act in movies. <laughs> and he starts yelling and swearing. Ch check it out. Just go on. <laughs> If one of you guys know where it is, throw it in the throw a link in the comment section. I gotta show it to you guys after we're done the show Definitely because it'll make you laugh your guts out. It's hilarious. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.